If you happen to have been using the QuickBooks desktop version and now you'd like to pull that data into the online version, there's a little process you need to go through. And once you go through the process, then you'll want to run some reports to make sure that all your data pulled in. Let me go ahead and show you how this process works. What you want to do is open up your company file in the desktop version and then go to your menu and click on Company, and down near the bottom you will see Export Company File to QuickBooks Online. If you don't see that option, what it means is that you have some updates that you need to do in this version of QuickBooks before you can export this. In order to do those updates, just go to Help, and you're going to see it'll say Update QuickBooks right here. Now go through that update process and when you're finished, close the company file, then open it back up and when you do, you should see the option to export your company file to QuickBooks Online. Now what's going to happen here is it's going to ask you to log into your online account. Once you click start your export, here's where you have to log in. So I'll go ahead and put in my email address again gmail.com and I'll go ahead and put in my password and I'm going to sign in. Now what's going to happen here is if it doesn't recognize you then it'll want to send a code to your email to confirm your account. If you had plugged in your phone number when you set up your account then it could send you a text that way. I'm going to go ahead and tell it to confirm and I'm going to flip over to my email and get that six digit code and I'll be right back. I've got my code now. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in and then I'm going to hit continue at the bottom. It's going to ask me a couple of quick things before it can actually pull it up to the online version. This particular one says, do you want to bring over your inventory? If you say yes, you want to go ahead and select a date that you want to go ahead and pull it in from. I'm going to go ahead and say I'll pull it in from January of 2020 and I'll go ahead and hit continue. The next thing is it wants me to choose my existing QuickBooks online company file. Now if I have more than one you'll see them all listed here and I just choose the one that I want and then I'm going to go ahead and hit continue at the bottom. And now it's preparing my company file which is Larry's Landscaping and Garden Supply here. This process could take a while. What will happen is you will actually get an email from Intuit once this process is complete. Once it is complete, what we'll want to do is go ahead and open both the desktop version and the online version and run some reports. Now this one finished pretty quickly. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now I should get an email from Intuit. Remember, if you don't get that email, it's not finished yet. It might look like it's frozen, but it's really not. You'll get it eventually. Now let me show you the reports that you want to run to compare your data. In either version, it doesn't matter which one you do first, you're going to run a profit and loss and a balance sheet. In the desktop version, you'll go to Reports, Company and Financial, Profit and Loss Standard. Now when the report comes up, there's a couple things that you need to do. Make sure the dates are all. That way you capture everything in your company file. Also make sure you're running this on an accrual basis right up here. You're going to want to run that one. Then you're going to want to run the balance sheet. You're going to go back to reports, company and financial, and run a balance sheet standard. Make sure that you pick all dates. You'll have to scroll up to the top for that. And make sure you're running it on an accrual basis. Even if in real life you use the cash basis for this report, run it on accrual so that you can make sure you've got everything here. Now I'm going to go flip over to the online version and show you where to go in there to pull those same reports. Back in the online version, the way you run your reports is if you notice on the left hand side over here, you'll see it says reports. And then you'll notice that both the balance sheet and the profit and loss are already set under your favorites. You can run either one first, it doesn't really matter, I'll just start with the profit and loss. And if you get screens like this that says customize, go ahead and just close that out for now. And what you'll want to do is make sure that you choose all from the top of the list here. And then make sure you hit run report. 
and you can see there's the data. Now you'll do the same thing with that balance sheet. You'll go back to reports over here on the left. You'll run the balance sheet. Make sure that you're running this on a accrual basis and also make sure you're looking at the dates all at the top. You'll want to make sure accrual is chosen right there like I said and then run your report. Now print those out and compare those two. If all the data is the same on both of those, then you got everything. But if one's different than the other, then it didn't actually export all your data and pull it up to the online version and you may want to try it again. And that's how you're going to pull your data from your desktop version into your online version. Let's go ahead now and move over into section four and I'm going to give you a quick overview of how the screen looks. We call this your user interface. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free QuickBooks Online Essential Keyboard Shortcuts infographic, click over there. And click over there to watch more QuickBooks videos from Simon Says It.